In this video, I'm going to talk about a program called K Shutdown. Uh, K Shutdown is a little utility that allows you to turn off your computer after a given time. Let's say, for example, that you've got a large number of files that you're downloading and it's late at night. You don't want to wait till they finish downloading uh, to turn your computer off. K Shutdown, you can uh, estimate how long it will take for the download to complete. You can have K Shutdown to turn off your computer. Or if you're someone that likes to listen to music uh, via your computer uh, or ambient noise uh, when you go to bed at night and try to sleep, uh, you don't want your computer running all night, you can have it to shut down after a given uh, period of time. And it's not only it will not only shut your computer down, you can also uh, hibernate your computer. Uh, you can put your computer to sleep. And if you need more information below the video on YouTube, I will have the link to my webpage showing you how to install it. You just open up your terminal and then update your PPAs by sudo apt get update or sudo apt update. And you can install it by sudo apt get or sudo apt install k shutdown. That's that simple. And if you don't like it or if it doesn't work with your machine, you can open your terminal back up and you can go sudo apt remove k shutdown and it will take it off your system. Now I have a little brief description and that's what it looks like uh, telling you what uh, K shutdown is, how you can power off, restart, put your computer to sleep, or even lock your screen after a given period of time. Now K shutdown is not just for Ubuntu Mate and because that's what my web page is about. It, you can use it on Mate. It's designed for KDE users and it can also be used in GNOME, XFC, and other distributions. And like I said, if you put it on your machine and it doesn't work, you can take it off by opening up your terminal, hitting sudo apt remove kate shutdown. Now I do have all the steps once you install it, how you can locate it in your menus, and all the features that you have of using kate shutdown. Now I'm not going to actually shut my computer down because it would be it wouldn't videotape that, but I will show you how to use it. I go to my applications accessories and then I click on K shutdown it's a very small dialog box and there's not much to it it's just a simple program as you can see here the main feature is to turn off your computer and that's the setting by default and I can say to select a certain time or event and if I choose from now the HH stands for your hours the MM stands for your minutes and for this example, it says in one hour and 15 minutes, if I hit OK, my computer will cut off in one hour and 15 minutes from the time. I can come in here and if I want to put three hours, I could highlight and select that. If I wanted to make it exactly three hours, I could type three hours. You can go up and down. Like for example, if I highlighted these numbers here, I could change the minutes by moving up and down. So if there was something blocking my keyboard, if I'm just like using a mouse, I could change the hours and the minutes by using the mouse. Now it's not something just to turn off your computer uh, but before I go and show the other features look here you've got you can set a specific date and time like uh, you know today is Wednesday January the 23rd of 2019 if I wanted to turn my computer off like uh, Friday of this week I could click in here on the calendar choose the date and time when I want to turn the computer off in this case I can say to select oh, when an application exits. So if I got an application running in the background like my browser, if I'm downloading something, I can say when it's finished or if I'm downloading updates, I can say when it's finished, I can uh, say exit the application and then it, it will start to turn off my computer. And the last thing is on user inactivity. So I could say when I don't have my computer active for say 30 minutes, it could turn the device off. Other features other than turning off your computer is you can restart your computer after a given period of time. You can hibernate your computer after a given period of time. You can suspend your computer after a given period of time. You can lock your screen or you could just log out. Now those are some of the actions and the same actions is up here. You've got other bookmarks like if you have certain things that you like to do instead of going through here and setting all that you can bookmark your settings so you can go to bookmarks and click on the bookmark that you chose almost like when you're using a browser how you save your favorite places that you visit on the internet you can kind of customize your settings to things that you might want to do and save them as a bookmark you have other tools and I'm not going to get into that because your tools is for your shortcut keys and stuff like that then you have 
uh, about case shutdown to switch application language. So if you speak something other than English, but here's a little about case shutdown. It shows you the author, show you the libraries. Uh, um, here's the email of the author, and it says thanks to all. And that's everyone that uses and contributes to case shutdown. All right, that's the little tool in general. And before you uh, leave your computer, always make sure you hit the OK button. Now, when you do hit the OK button, since I have it set for two hours, when you hit the OK button, it lets you know by a little indicator that case shutdown is running in the background. Uh, so that way that in two hours, it tells you exactly when your computer will cut off. So in two hours, it will actually turn your computer off. In this case, I don't want it to. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to say cancel the turn off. And then I'm going to go up here and just close it out. And that is actually how you use the K shutdown. Hopefully this has been beneficial to you and have a great day.